Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to share this with you real quick. I was driving, or I was riding, huh, not driving, I wish, um, on the way home from work today, and I was thinking about the Tree of Life. Now, I just want to tell you, I just want to just put out there exactly what the Tree of Life represents. Okay, so the Tree of Life sustains life. It sustains it, okay? So we know that it is the tree of life. You know what? How about you just see it for yourself? How about you go to Google? Go to Google right now and type in uh, try T R I C H O M E S. Try chomes. So that's what it's, that's how it sounded out. If you were to, you know, want to know how to spell this word, it would be trichomes. So T R I C H O M E S, and then hit enter. And when you hit enter, you can click on images. And of course, some of you will be like, "Oh my gosh, a cannabis plant! Oh my gosh, marijuana!" Anyway, so if you click on the first picture that comes up, it will show. Uh, crystals, THC crystals. Now, these THC crystals have been proven scientifically that they sustain life, that they induce, in fact, uh, earlier in uh, history, people believed that when you smoked cannabis, you became possessed with the Lord's spirit. And I do believe this very much to be so in my heart. Why? Because God has told me this. Literally. He has literally showed me this. And told me this. I'm not fooled. I am not kind of sure of this. I'm absolutely positive. And the reason that I know this is because if you think about hippies in the 70s, all they would do is just smoke weed and promote peace, love, and divorce. Interesting. That's weird. Peace and love, those are the two fruits of the Holy Spirit. Huh. So, if this thing, this cannabis plant, which is also a tree, which is also a bush, which is also a plant, <laughs> if this herb that holds these THC crystals on them, if this thing sustains life, heals people of sickness, and induces into you peace and love and patience and joy, wouldn't you think that this would be the closest thing you could find to uh, existing as the uh, tree of life here on earth? Did you know that it says in the Bible that God will grow a tree renown and the leaves will be the healing of the nations? Think of Jesus. Think of Jesus. When Jesus was crucified, when he was, he was the sacrifice. He was the lamb. Now, Jesus, he yielded something that no one's ever yielded before, and that was the uh, Holy Spirit. He's given us the Holy Spirit. Okay? So think of it this way. Cannabis tree, if you were to think of a cannabis tree, Um, or the tree of life itself, you would think of some kind of fruit that is on this tree that bears the Holy Spirit and that sustains life. So, you see, when you're saved, and I tell you this, when you're saved, you may not realize this, but when God says anything is possible, he really means anything is possible. 
people out there that are struggling with faith, let me tell you this. When Jesus came and died for our sins, He did not only die for our sins, but He gave us something. And what did He give us? He gave us eternal life. We do not deserve sickness. And that is why you know that you can cast out sickness in the name of Jesus. And the only reason that you can cast out sickness in the name of Jesus is because we don't deserve to be sick. We're saved. We have been given eternal life. Therefore, we have authority over sickness and, and, and demons and Satan himself. So, anything that is harmful to you, you may rebuke because guess what? God has given you eternal life. It doesn't matter if it's cancer. It doesn't matter if it's AIDS. It doesn't matter if it's blindness. It doesn't matter if it's obesity. It doesn't matter if it's asthma. It really doesn't matter. Okay? You rebuke it in the name of Jesus and it will be gone. You must have faith. Have faith. Know that this is true. Know that this is true. You can cast out sickness in the name of Jesus because we do not deserve sickness, but we deserve eternal life. Why would Jesus come and die for us or, you know, and then give us eternal life through dying and then us having to go through so much sickness in our life? We don't deserve sickness. What we deserve is eternal life, and that is what God has given us. So any of you who are have uh, relatives or siblings or friends or anyone at all who is in pain, you can remove this pain in the name of Jesus. Because he gives you the authority to cast out this pain. I wanted to share that with you guys because I wanted to just let you guys know that that's the truth. And that God has, I've received these thoughts from God, okay? They just, I just come up with them. I just come up with them. It's almost as if I process them within a second. Sometimes I'll be saying things out loud, like I'll be preaching or something. And I'll be preaching out loud and I'll be saying things that I didn't even know two minutes ago but I'll be saying them as if I've known them. I'll be saying things as if I know them. And that is how you know that the Holy Spirit is alive and working in you. So thank you for watching. God bless you all.